Back off! I was here first! None of your business, knife ears. I wasn't bothering nobody, and I was here first. Run away? I get that a lot. Why, you looking to buy one? Oh, is he? Uh, well, that's... Uh, see, I'd like to sell you one, but I don't uh, have any myself. I got part of a glove. The wolves didn't chew too badly, though. I think it was a glove, anyway. I know, don't say it. I got cheated. I knew the guy who was here before me. He sold me this spot. Said he found giants and all kind of crazy valuables. He didn't mention that he'd taken everything but the bones and the dirt already. His name's Ferrin. Squirrely little bastard, if you ask me. Which you didn't, but I said it anyway. He was going to Orzammar, he said. I imagine he's gotten there by now. If you find him, tell him I sent you. It'll scare the piss out of him. Ah. Our time award show. <laughs> What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Oh? What was this about? I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. All the noise is off. <laughs> Step right, make us breath. Oh, beg your pardon, friend, you, uh, startled me a bit. You've, uh, heard of me? Where is my sword? I, uh, I don't know what you mean, sir. I, I don't have it. I swear by Andraste's knickers. I sold it on the way here. No, I swear I don't have it. I sold it to a dwarf in Redcliffe, name of Dwin. I'm not, I promise you. I demand an audience. You insult all of Pharrell in your actions. King Loghain will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. They hide because they are dwarves. I would challenge any race to fare as well. Our King is dead. Endron and I do can return to the stone not three weeks ago. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. 
If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden! They're sworn enemies of King Loghain! Well, that is the Royal Seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden! What? Lies and slander! King Loghain will not suffer this. I will not suffer it. I'm his messenger. Kill each other as you will, but take your sodding fight off my doorstep. Couldn't we all just get along? No? You've done me a service. That fool Imrek was barking for a week. Are all humans so touched? You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. A trust follow, Warden. Your arrival is a mixed blessing. We prefer that outsiders not witness our infighting. But your presence will be... Show some pity for a poor old man. Show some pity for a poor old man. Now that's a thing of beauty, daughter. If you were carved like Blanca, all wars of our will remain. So, you truly do not believe in any sort of higher power? It has been bothering you, I see. No, I do not. Must I? What do you believe happens to you after you die, then? Nothing? I do not go to sit by the Maker's side, if that's what you mean. Only those who are worthy are brought to the Maker's side. So many other sad souls are left to wander in the void, hopeless and forever lost. And what evidence of this have you? <laughs> I see only spirits, no wandering ghosts of wicked disbelievers. It must be so sad to look forward to nothing, to feel no love and seek no reward in the afterlife. Yes, the anguish tears at me so. You have seen through me to my sad, sad core. Now you're simply mocking me. You notice. It appears your perceptive powers know no bounds. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You not speak that way about the man who should be king! Yeah, that's surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. 
bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Yes, you should. For a tiny people, they certainly build high ceilings. Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. Lord Harriman should be our king. He was King Endrin's closest advisor, the only one he could trust. Endrin himself, ancestors welcome him, asked the assembly to endorse Harriman. Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died abed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. He died in bed after his eldest son was murdered, and the Assembly condemned his second son for it. I cannot blame him for preferring to join the Ancestors in eternal peace, if Balin didn't murder him himself. Only as a potential match for one of his sons, he was a good king, stern and fair and just. I am Narav Helmi, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmi. And you, stranger? What brings you to Orzammar at such a time? A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you mean? A Blight? Now? But our warriors are killing each other in the streets! I'm sorry, stranger. I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. If you seek Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferender. He might be able to get you an audience. One day, the Paragon Branco will return. Oh, and on that day... This dispute over the throne is exciting, isn't it? By the ancestors, watch where you're treading! Oh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. I hear the surface kingdoms are having problems, too. Uh, excuse me, I... You look like you're not from around here. Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Oh, my lady, it's an honor. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? Don't let the glamour fool you, child. Wielding magic is a dangerous occupation and a great responsibility. Of course not. Haven't you read First Enchanter Catelyn's treatise concerning dwarfs and the non-heritability of magic? He tested dwarfs from 20 bloodlines and found they couldn't perform any level of spell casting, regardless of lyrium exposure or time on the surface. The Circle speculates that lyrium in the stone shields us from spiritual influences and over time made us immune to them. I want to go to the Circle to study. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. 
It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the Circle gains direct access to our knowledge of lyrium smithing. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Right. I have some lovely things here. Lilirium. Enhanced, of course. Do you think the tower is ever going to get back to what it was? I don't know. A great number of people died. It will be difficult to imagine rebuilding, with that cloud hanging over everything for many years to come. Do you think you'll be there? To help rebuild, I mean, once this is all over with? I cannot say. Even if I survive this blight, I am a very old woman, Alistair. Why? Because of some gray hair? You are a formidable woman, Wynne. You could see that it happens. I think you overestimate the number of years I have left. But perhaps you were right. Or perhaps the memories of what happened there will be too strong for me to face. I have a hard time believing that. Well, it's good to have someone that believes in me, so... Now if I could only feel the same way myself, that would be something. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although... I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by Dark Spawn that way. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Take heart, good widow Filda. We'll do our best. Please, find me as soon as you return. Upsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. That's what Balin stands for. Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The Assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. Did you see that fight? 
In the old days, those men would have been told to join the Legion of the Dead. At least then they put that anger to good use. But not these days. Maker's blessing on you, brother. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. There is... Uh, resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. What is that smell? Dwarven vomit. Charming. I remember when the Grey Wardens would visit. Oh, the festivities we had. Those days are past. You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Lord Balin is a bad, bad man. Yes, very bad. It's been a while since we saw a Grey Warden. I bet they're avoiding Orzammar because of all the trouble. The Legion of the Dead Warriors secretly wear Prince Balin's colors. Our Prince has Orzammar's deadliest warriors behind him. We are honored to have you here. I hear that elves have six toes on each foot. Is that true? Your service to House Idukin does you credit. I'm outraged. A thief in the Shaperit. What have we been reduced to? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine! Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn two thousand years of tradition?
What sort of charities do you mean? Traditionally, that is their extended family's responsibility, but sometimes people fall through the cracks. Very well. He may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? I will record this conversation in the memories. I hope I do not come to regret it. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Desher's lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough! The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Don't forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Oh, Stone. You must be the Grey Warden. I completely forgot about the Gate Guard's message. Welcome to Orzima, Warden. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Troubling, but it will still seem distant compared to the empty throne. The assembly is blind to all else. This is their world, and it ended when Endrin died. Dulin for Ender, Harriman's man, can be found at the Harriman estate. Varteg Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Warden William, it is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Varteg Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. No one wishes this fight over more than Balin. But while it rages, Orzammar can spare no one to combat what may or may not be a new blight. I believe you. 
But what are we to do? If Balin followed his heart and sent his men to aid you, Haramont would steal his throne. We would defeat the Blight and return to find our homeland devastated by an incompetent tyrant. Wait. We must be cautious about whom to trust. But perhaps we could find a way. Paramount has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception. Irrefutable evidence? Which I suppose you have? I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Haramond promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Oh, excuse me, two assembly members. Desher is their formal title. Haramond can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramond gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. That's not important. If they ask, say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your tree. Normally, the Shapers would handle this sort of accusation. They are the scholars who manage our laws, histories, and genealogies. They are the final arbiters of all disputes in Orzammar. Unfortunately, the Shaper of Memories is the most important among them, and his grandfather was Lord Haramont's aunt's first cousin. Obviously, we cannot expect him to offer an unbiased opinion. I guess I can't expect you surfacers to understand the importance of family in Orzammar. The Shaper is biased, and if you want Prince Balin's help, you'll have to show where your loyalties lie. Will you do it? Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much. But Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapster's in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. This they have. Lord Haramont, said to have kicked Castlas in the street. Does he respect What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough. But there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. I cannot. Not for weeks. He is leading a Deep Roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient Taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Does that mean you'll go? So Balin's victory means enough for you to risk your life. How interesting. Who's of the hour? Three more clans endorse Lord Haramont and the two points. Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Ob. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon, or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman.
Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. So you're a Grey Warden. You think I'm impressed? Whew. Hey, there's two of you. Change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. I told him I don't understand why the Provings aren't open to everyone. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? But there are those like you who see this with concern, no? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other casts. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamara so mired in tradition no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And they'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. I actually thought he was the better candidate. You must think I'm pretty sorry naive, huh? They're all the same. Well-dressed, blood-sucking cave ticks. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. What's this? An elf? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the Deep Roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or 
the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Of course not. Down here you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, but they have the head of a worm, and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. A few outposts. Legion of the Dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes, <laughs> or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join, and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Best of luck. I'm sensing more dark spawn. Of course.
Another creature ahead. Delighted. us from a tight spot, friend. You have my gratitude. I am Lord Anwar Dace. So how does an elf come to be down here anyway? I don't understand. What could... These are the terms of a deal we made with Lord Haramont, but... The charlatan. He's promised the exact same land to hell me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I owe you twice now, my life and my house's fortune. We will certainly not support a man who would use my family like that. I will tell everyone I know what a wretched trick Haramon tried to play. I must return now. My men need healing and I want to look into this. You wish to travel with us? And let us reach Orzammar before more beasts find our scent. Lady Dace just came through the quarter on a tear. She's telling everyone who'll listen what a leech and a liar Haramont is. Good job. So you were serious about wanting to help us. Are you ready to meet Balin now? I'm going to assume that wasn't sarcasm. I warn you, be on your best behavior, and keep your weapons sheathed. <laughs> My baloney has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name, it's M-A-Y-E-R. Oh, I love to eat it every day, and if you ask me, I'll say. Cause Oscar Mayer has a way with C-O-L-O-D-N-A.